Hello children, in this video let us see where and how we apply the factor theorem. What did we learn in our factor theorem? We learned that for any polynomial p of x n greater than or equal to 1, uh, we can find an a, any real number a such that if p of a is equal to 0, then it implies that x minus a is a factor is a factor of the polynomial right or vice versa if x minus a is a factor of the polynomial if x minus a is a factor of the polynomial that implies that p of a is equal to 0. Now we are going to use this factor theorem of course it is of great advantage to you while uh, dividing uh, polynomials that to a higher degree. Now let us consider the polynomial a cubic polynomial x cube minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 18. Now, we are asked to find the factors of this particular cubic polynomial. How do we go about it? A linear polynomial and a quadratic polynomial we know, but here we, don't, we do not know where to start. Of course, we know that by long division you can obtain the factors of this polynomial, but where to begin? We do not know which is a factor first, isn't it? Let us just try all sorts of numbers and see if it suits. Uh, Let us uh, substitute for x 1. So, if p of 1 is equal to 0, then we can conclude that x minus 1 is a factor. And then we can divide this polynomial by x minus 1, isn't it? So, I am going to substitute in x 1, 1 cube is 1 minus 8 plus 21 into 1, 1 minus 18. See, uh, just the look of it, I can say 18, if I add the negatives 18 and 8 and if I add the positives, they are not going to be equal to 0. So, x minus 1 is not going to be a factor. So, let me try p of minus 1, p of minus 1, let me see if it is equal to 0. Uh, minus 1, the whole cube is minus 1 and minus 1 squared is 1, so minus 8, minus 21, minus 18. I have such a lot of negative numbers here, so it, they are not definitely going to be equal to 0. So, p of minus 1 is also not equal to 0. So, x plus 1 is not a factor, is not a factor. Now, let me try p of 2 and see if x minus 2 is a factor. So, uh, trying p of 2. So, I substitute 2 in um, x in this equation instead of x I substitute 2. 2 cube minus 8 into 2 squared which is 8 into 4 plus 21 into 2 minus 18 which is equal to 2 cube is 8 minus 8 4 is 32 plus 21 into 2 is 42 minus 18. Uh, looks like it is going somewhere. Uh, let me add the negatives first. Minus 32 and minus 18 gives me, I just show you, I am adding negative 32 and negative 18. It gives me minus 50, right. And now let me add 42 and 8. Yes, I am getting 50. So, p of 2 is equal to 50 minus 50 is equal to 0. So, I can safely conclude that x minus 2, x minus 2 is a factor of, if I call this as p of x, it is a factor of p of x. Now, I should find other factors also. So, now I can do the long division method of polynomial, divide x cube minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 18 by x minus 2, right. So, let me do the long division. I will be writing the polynomial here x cube minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 18. All of this, all of this to be divided by x minus 2. Since we have found that using the factor theorem, we have found that x minus 2 is a factor of this. So, now let us do the long division. So, first uh, x cube, how many times x is x cube, x squared times. 
So, I write my quotient uh, x squared, x squared. So, multiplying I get um, x into x squared x cube minus x squared into minus 2 is minus 2 x squared, right. Now, I have to subtract both of them. So, subtracting this minus this becomes plus because I am subtracting, right. So, minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6 x squared. And bringing the next term down, it is 21 x. So, now what is uh, x into what gives you minus 6 x squared? You get minus 6 into x. Okay. So, minus 6 into x is minus 6 x squared minus into minus plus 12 x. 6 twos are 12, 12 x. So, subtracting these two terms, we get this becomes plus and this becomes minus since we are subtracting. Why do we get this? Because you are going to subtract the whole term. So, your minus into minus becomes plus and minus into plus becomes minus. So, your answer would be 21 minus 12. What is 21 minus 12? 9 x right and plus 9 x minus 18 bringing the 18 down you get minus 18. So, our next term quotient term would be 9 isn't it because 9 into x is 9x. Uh, let me write in red to keep the continuity. So, plus 9, 9. So, this gives you 9x minus 2 into uh, plus 9 is minus 18. So, yes, now my remainder is 0. So, x squared minus 6x plus 9 is a fact. Isn't it? Rp of x can be expressed as now p of x can be expressed as a multiple of x minus 2 into x squared minus 6x plus 9. Right. Now we can further uh, find the factors of x squared minus 6x plus 9. One look at it would tell you that it is in the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So, it is uh, where a is 1, where a is equal to 1 and b is equal to root of 9, square root of 9, 3. So, I can just write it as x minus 3 the whole square, x minus 3 the whole square. So, the factors of polynomial of uh, p of x is x minus 2 into x minus 3 into x minus 3. Even if you are not familiar, with this a minus b the whole square, just look at minus 6x, you can do the splitting of the middle term, is not it? x squared minus 6x six six plus 9, x squared minus 6x six six plus 9 can be writ rewritten as x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9, splitting of the middle term such that the multiple of 3 and 3 is plus 9. So, you get x minus 3 into x minus 3 if you do the factorization, the inverse of the distributive property by grouping them, you get x minus 3 into x minus 3. So, using factor theorem, you have conveniently found the factors of the cubic polynomial. The same can be done for polynomial of any degree, you just have to find one factor first and then it goes smoothly for you, right. I hope you understood. Thank you.